good. Hi, Bob McGraw here at the Eagle Mountain House going over this week's tip. A few weeks ago we talked about a chip shot. And the chip shot was an arm and shoulder motion with very little wrist. Weight was on the left side. Today we're going to talk about a pitch shot. I've got a bunker in front of me. I've got the pin on the other side of the bunker. So I need the ball to get up in the air. And so we're going to use a pitching motion. The pitching motion involves a little bit of a wrist going back, a little bit of a turn going forward. And when I finish, I want to feel my hips facing the target, my back foot on the toe. And it looks a little bit like this. So I set up, get my, my stance, hinge it back, turn, and hold the finish. Again, here was the motion. I hinged it back, I turned my body, and hold the finish. And when I finish, I'm in balance, facing the target. That's a pitching shot. If you want to go further, we'd lengthen the backswing to maybe a three-quarter backswing all the way up to a full swing, and we can change clubs, go down to a gap wedge or a pitching wedge. I hope that helps you, and we'll see you next week on our next tip.